change it to turbocharger you will see it's in the red, it's in the block so this is not a facelift of the previous generation this is truly the new generation of the goodies uh, I want to walk you through a few technical details about what we were able to starting with the, uh, how we were able to improve performance of, of this engine but basically it comes down and boils down to two major factors right uh, improve the fuel injection and improve the breathing efficiency of the engine to improve the fuel injection what we have is a fuel, uh, pressure fuel at 2000 bars we have redesigned the injector nozzle to have a higher flow into the combustion chamber and a better atomization of the fuel and to improve the breathing efficiency we change the intake ducts so we are re-engineering the intake ducts increasing the swing of, of the, uh, the, the air that is coming into the combustion chamber what the beam did so we create an, an offset between the piston center line and the piston wheel so this offset creates a balancing torque when, when the piston goes in its stroke into the cylinder reduces the mechanical noise of the piston. This engine comes with an 8-speed automatic transmission and we take uh, an advantage of the highest torque and recalibrate the engine to have a better drivability and better fuel economy. This is the best-in-class uh, torque with 480 foot-pound. We have the best-in-class towing capacity with over 12,500 pounds. And this is very competitive fuel economy, 32 miles per gallon on the highway on the on the 4x2, which really puts this engine really uh, everything the customer will will uh, will need from from this application is there. We just started building the eco diesels. I think we've been fairly consistent that they're going to roll into dealership lots over the fourth quarter of 2019, and we're right on track. One of the cool things about the 2020 version of the Eco Diesel is that it's available across the entire 1500 range, from the bottom end to the top end, and of course, that Spectrum covers the Rebel. So you can get a Rebel with all of its off-road hardware and abilities and a fuel-efficient Eco Diesel engine. Let's take a look inside this Eco Diesel Rebel. All right, lots of red, just like the outside. It's really cool technical material, satin finish, metal accents, red trim around the HVAC vents. Oh wow, cool. More red here on the paddles here. And of course you got the massive 12 inch Uconnect system screen there. You may have seen this split tailgate that Ram has available on its 1500. So I'm going to show you how it works. My friend Brian from New Car Spin gave me the lowdown on it. So you can open it all as one piece like that, just like any tailgate. But if you want to open it both sections independently, you press down here, swing that open. You got a little handle here, bada bing. Now you can get closer to the load floor without bumping against the folded down tailgate. But remember, there's a certain sequence to closing this up. Got to do that one first, and then this one second. And there you go. Got the Laramie Longhorn here. So if you want a Texas themed truck, and you want to drive it in the state, cover a lot of miles, which a lot of people do in their trucks down here in Texas, you can get the Eco Diesel to really cover some ground. All right, lots of earth tones, contrast stitching, this barn wood trim carpet inserts on the floor mats, of course the Longhorn badging, Ram tread plate, more barnwood trim. It's a lot of brown, but it's a nice shade. I really like it. Now this one doesn't have the filigree finish, but you got this sort of mock croc print here, perforations for the ventilated uh, seat action, big badge right there. Another 12-inch system, and then this really cool 
variable storage compartment here. Got wireless charging, and then you can actually stand your phone up right there, which I really like. Good amount of space down there. It's got a grip pad. Slide this forward. Got your cup holders. Little storage compartment. You can put your coins there too if you need them. And Ram even went through the trouble of putting trim on the uh, edge of the lids here. Really like that. Of course, another badge. And then really spacious rear seats. If you like what you see and you haven't subscribed to There Will Be Cars already, please go ahead and do so. Hit the uh, subscribe button, click the bell to be notified about future videos. I'm always bringing new content to There Will Be Cars, so I hope you subscribe so that you can see it when it comes out. As they said in basically every episode of MTV Cribs, this is where the magic happens. This is the third generation 3 liter eco diesel V6. 260 horsepower, 480 pound feet of torque. That's mated to a 8 speed automatic transmission. So, unfortunately, the Rebel is not here right now, but the Laramie Longhorn is. So, I'm going to get behind the wheel. I'm going to have Brian from New Car Spin film my drive. And one of the things that Ram really focused on with this third generation eco diesel is reducing noise, vibration, and harshness in VH. So I'm going to give you an idea of what this sounds like at idle, and of course you're going to hear it when I'm on my way out on the drive route. And I'm uh, going to do a pull from a low speed just to see what the acceleration is like and just get a better idea of how this engine behaves out on the road. the eco diesel at idle one thing that hasn't changed about this 2020 1500 eco diesel is just how spacious this interior is so last Christmas if I remember correctly uh, my girlfriend and I were visiting her parents in Phoenix, and I had a 1500 Laramie Longhorn uh, crew cab. And her dad and her uncle are both about 6'5", and they were able to sit behind each other on the passenger side. Now, it was a little tight, but it was surprisingly spacious nevertheless, because I didn't think there was any way they were going to be able to sit behind each other. But the Ram 1500 made it possible. This is one of my favorite features of the Laramie Longhorn package is these sort of saddlebag uh, storage compartments back here. This is another one of my favorite features of the Laramie Longhorn package is this actual branding on this barn wood right here. And if we pull back, you'll see it's got a dual glove box. Decently sized space. It actually seems a little larger than it looks from the outside. And of course you got your glove box down here. Just to give you a very rough idea of what kind of mileage this Eco Diesel is getting right now, it's only got 29 miles and change on it, and it's, you know, relatively low speed back road driving, but so far it's averaging 20.2 miles a gallon. All right, so behind the wheel of the Laramie Longhorn with the Eco Diesel, let's see what this thing can do. On these bumpy roads, uh, getting somewhat of an idea of the ride quality. Now this truck, obviously the Laramie Longhorn being a high line trim level for the 1500 is available with a four corner air suspension. This particular truck we're in doesn't have it because it doesn't have the little toggle switch down here. So that means we're riding on steel springs, but so far so good. Get an even better idea of what the ride quality is like out on these roads. But you know, to be honest with you, that's something that all right, actually, time for a pull. Upshift. Yeah, it's it's weird. Like it it doesn't. It almost sounds like a gas engine. Like it doesn't sound like a traditional diesel. And I think a lot of that comes from the fact that it's a V6. It's smaller displacement. It's not like you know they stuffed a giant straight six Cummins diesel in here. But um, I thought it would sound a little beefier a little more have a little more clatter to it but yeah it sounds kind of like a gas engine one great thing about these new ram trucks is that 
they offer a traditional steel spring suspension and then they offer an air suspension but i gotta be honest with you i mean i've driven some of the steel sprung trucks and they ride really well too i mean obviously the air suspension trucks are going to have an edge in terms of ride quality and smoothness Sorry, had to fit that in there. Um, obviously, the steel, the air suspension trucks are going to have an edge in terms of ride quality and smoothness, but the steel spring trucks do a really good job on the road too. Yeah, this is really quiet, and that's the trend. I mean, over time, obviously, diesel engines just get quieter and quieter. I mean, even the giant Cummins engines. You know, you compare modern diesels to ones from 15 years ago, there's gonna be a huge gap. I, I remember early 2000s, I made a road, I took a road trip with my uh, buddy Jake and his family. His dad had a, I don't know, 2002, 2003, maybe an 01 or 02 F350 Dually with the 7.3 power stroke in it. And back then, you know, at least that diesel was so loud, you couldn't go through drive throughs without having to turn it off. But I remember we went from Austin up to Greeley, Colorado, and just falling asleep to the sound of that clatter. Like, it was loud, but it was also very soothing. And I think, you know, modern diesels have a little bit less of that quality. If you ask me, I don't mind the clatter, but I understand, you know, that's the way the market goes. People want them quieter, more sophisticated, and we're definitely in that age across the board. And this Ram Eco Diesel is definitely in line with that trend. It's quiet, very quiet. I mean, it's hard to tell it's even there. Let's try this. Yeah. Not that loud, not that loud. This is just a great combo, you know, plenty of space, plenty of tech, plenty of comfort features. I got heated seats, ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, leather and wood all around. And, you know, it's a great looking package. Every company has their own way of doing a Southwest Texas themed truck. Ford really started that off with the King Ranch in the late 90s, early 2000s. Chevy's got High Country, and then Ram has got Laramie Longhorn. And look, I, I can see where some people would think that the Laramie Longhorn treatment is a bit overwrought, is a bit too much. But if you ask me, it's kind of like a James Bond movie. You know, one of the core philosophies behind making a James Bond movie is you should be able to see the money on the screen in terms of the costumes, and the cars and the locations. And that's kind of how it is with the Laramie Longhorn package. The money's not on the screen, the money is in everything you look at and touch inside the truck. You know, you get these stitched leather wrapped handles on the, on the pillars. You got wood wheel, tons of leather everywhere else. There's a bit of design to everything. And that's not gonna be for everybody, but to me it shows an attention to detail and a sort of conscientiousness about the fact that people are paying a lot of money for these trucks and Ram makes it obvious what that money buys you in terms of an interior. All right, got a little bit of whistle Tur back Turbo there. whistle, I love that. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, you don't really hear a lot of clatter, but uh, you know, getting a little bit of that whistle is a nice touch. Okay, now you can hear it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. A little more whistle. <laughs> yeah, all this drive is making me do is want to go on an even longer drive. That's what we've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean? We, we've been driving and driving and driving. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess, uh, yeah. I guess I should turn around in case somebody else is looking to get into this truck because I know I'm definitely looking to get into that Rebel. More than that, your battery might be low. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. It yeah. is. Yeah, my battery does not have the range of the uh, Ram Eco Diesel. See what I did there? Uh-huh. Yeah, good one. <laughs> uh, Ram's actually paying me for saying that. 
with lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I have a cheap date, what can I say? <laughs> All right, well, I guess we should turn around. another pull. Come on. <laughs> Just had to see what it could do. It's my job, what can I say? Tough job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've got an hour drive back. I've been driving that long. <laughs> we have had it for a while. <laughs> but I think that's a good sign because if we didn't like it, we'd be we would have given away. We'd been like, ah, right, here, take it. Oh yeah, I, yeah. yeah. You almost have to pull me out of this truck. I mean, it's just it has so much going for it. It's a good-looking truck on the outside. You know, it's a relatively conservative design, but still very handsome. Plenty of equipment on the inside. Uh, a lot of great content, great design, and now yeah, you can do almost 30 miles a gallon in a four-wheel drive truck. That's insane. And it just makes me, like I said, want to go on a longer trip, get one of these, even if it's not a Rebel, just get one of these eco diesel trucks, take it from Austin to Big Bend National Park, just see what its real world fuel economy is like, and uh, hopefully do some off-roading out there or at least on, along the way. I've always enjoyed the Ram 1500, even the, the last uh, generation, the DS, you know, but the DT has just filled in the gaps that that had. You know, it's a very appealing package, and now this eco diesel engine just makes it uh, more of a long distance cruiser. And to be honest with you, you know, that's one thing that I really appreciate about vehicles is the fuel economy, not so much in terms of, you know, the price at the pump and all that kind of stuff, but I like the idea of not being shackled to a gas station, you know? I like the idea of just you fill it up once and then you can just keep going and going and going. And with a projected range of up to a thousand miles on one tank, yeah, you can definitely do that. Speaking of which, where the hell are we? I don't know, man, the movies. <laughs> if I hear a banjo playing, we're getting the hell out of here. <laughs> I know I got a real purdy mouth, but I don't want somebody else telling me. <laughs> right. I mean, these are some pretty big estates, too. Just yeah. Phew. Spread out. I mean, they're deceptive because you see a little driveway, but you don't know how much is beyond that. How much driveway there really is, right? Yeah, exactly. Because there's just so much land out here. Sticker price? Oh, yes. Not cheap. <laughs> 67, 160. So this newest generation of the Ram 1500 has always impressed me from the first moment I, I drove it. And this newest eco diesel variant of it offers plenty more to like. It looks as if the Rebel 1500 eco diesel is available, so if it is, I'm gonna jump behind the wheel and give you my driving impressions of that. Now I'm behind the wheel of the Ram 1500 Eco Diesel Rebel. I didn't think I'd get a chance to drive it, but fortunately it worked out. So we're gonna have to make this short and sweet, but we'll see how it does. This is really just a sort of, I'm gonna use this as a sort of scouting trip because this is the exact truck that I wanna take out to Big Bend for a uh, road trip and off-roading adventure with Brian from New Car Spin, who happens to be filming right now. Be sure to check out his channel and of course, like and subscribe. Please do the same for There Will Be Cars if you haven't already. All right. So let's see, once I straighten out here, I wanna get a good look at what we're working with here. Okay, so this truck doesn't have the air suspension either. That's okay. Gives gives you a little more flexibility in your suspension setup. Maybe you don't like air springs. Maybe you just like to keep it old school. You can do that. All right. I almost want to say this sounds a little louder than the Laramie Longhorn. I agree. I feel it's, it's 
This is more of like a, a hardcore sportier version of it. Yeah, it's just a little more vocal. Maybe my ears are deceiving me, but that's the impression I'm getting right off the bat. But still, once you get underway and you, you level out, it's quiet. Feels a little, the suspension feels a little livelier. I was not lying when I said I was gonna keep my drive in the Ram Rebel Eco Diesel nice and short. In fact, my phone decided to keep it even shorter and sweeter. It decided to just turn off on me, low on juice. That does not change the fact that I wanna go on a long distance road trip, hopefully out to Big Bend in the Ram Rebel Eco Diesel with Brian from New Car Spin. Hopefully in the next month or two or three or whatever, whenever the truck arrives in my local fleet, I can we can do that. It's been a lot of fun experiencing the third generation eco diesel engine in the 2020 ram 1500 i hope you've liked what you've seen if you have please click the like button and if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe to there will be cars thanks a lot for watching and please stay tuned to there will be cars for even more content